you're very close with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you were, and bought you a truck several years ago as a gift. Could you tell us this story? Yeah, uh, every year I go up there to ask for autograph from what I do now. I'm working for this gentleman, David Mars, since I left WWF, and he had a foundation. So every time you know, I go up there, just asking his mother to get me the, and you know, I'll go up and pick up the, uh, the, um, the autograph mm -hmm. signing, you know. So one time that year, I went up to pick it up, you know, and she said, well, Dwayne wants to see you, you know, since you're coming in, you know, uh, and he's in town. So I said, okay. We waited there and then, you know, all of a sudden he show up and just three of us, you know. And then, you know, he told me, you know, you work in a dealership, Tonga? I said, yeah. You know, Come on, take a look at this. We went out, there's the truck. He opened up and I, yeah, he said, what do you think? I said, the best thing for now, you know, all this truck is good, that it's big at the back also, that it's comf comfortable, you know. <clears throat> and, you know, you know, he walked around, you know, and turned around and he said, well, it's yours. You know, me and his mother, we both stood there and like, what? Did we hit this right? <laughs> <laughs> Drive quick. <laughs> yeah. That's a very nice gift. Yes. Dwayne's father, Rocky, passed away last, uh, last month. Yeah. I understand you were also very close with him. Do you have any memories to share with us about Rocky? Yes. Rocky was the one who reached out from the other side of the, uh, in the dressing room. First time I met him, you know, of course, he already married Duata and they had Dwayne already. But that was the first time, me coming from Japan and, you know, he just then up and he said, Chief, <clears throat> that he called. And I look around, you know, and he walked towards me. And, you know, of course, I got up. He said, Rocky Johnson, soul man, Rocky Johnson. Introduced myself. He said, Yeah, I married, you know, Atta, the Chief Peter Maivia's daughter. That was it. You know, they took me in, and I really, really appreciate that because I was just a wild man, wild kid, really, at the time, 17, I think, or 18. You know, didn't know much about America and trying to make a living in the same time, you know. And they took me in, you know, like a little brother for both of them, you know. And Ada, of course, didn't have a brother, so, you know, I was the little one. <laughs> and, uh, and that was the the whole thing there, we become family, and since then, you know, and we're always, yeah. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.